Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova, everyone. Last night, as we prepared to begin Rosh Hashanah with our families and in our homes, we received news that Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg had passed from this earth. For so many in our community, Justice Ginsburg was a voice that spoke to the just pursuit of equality for women and for all people and peoples, not just through her work, but through her example. She was a child of our people and of a generation that strove to envision an America that was truest to its own noble values. Let me share with you her own words that speak of her view of a good and meaningful life. If you wanna be a true professional, you will do something outside yourself, something to repair tears in your community, something to make life a little better for people less fortunate than you. There is much to admire about Justice Ginsburg's life, the way she rose from a young woman to take on the causes that others would not argue for, for the way she lived a life of uncompromising integrity to what she knew was right for the world, for herself and for her family. The way she argued with a grace and dignity for what she believed in and for the way she established relationships and friendships with those she disagreed, like Justice Anthony Scalia, for whom they would debate and argue for the greater good of justice and then continue a friendship that stood the test of time. They understood that when debate exists, that the truth can be found somewhere in between. As in our own tradition, we understand that the, the divine dwells between you and me. Perhaps this is an example to us in how we should begin the year anew, with a commitment to a just world, with a renewed desire to extend the hand to those we disagree with, to be a symbol of righteousness in the world. 5780 has been a year of tremendous heartbreak and tremendous injustice. May 5781 be one in which the spiritual values and legacy of Ruth Bader Ginsburg be ever present and made manifest in the world. Baruch Dayan Ahmet, blessed be the judge of truth. Let us hear the soothing words now of the 121st Psalm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 